Hi, Tracy here with the Idea Closet. I have another video for our Cameo class that we're doing at Heartfelt Creations. And this time we're making labels. We're going to make label number two from the class. So we're going to go ahead and open up our Silhouette Studio software and a blank page. The first thing that we're going to need to do for this, this label is we need to draw a rectangle. So we'll go ahead and click on rectangle and just draw a rectangle. It doesn't really matter the size because we're going to go ahead and fix the size that we want. And we'll do that by clicking on the rectangle and coming up here to our scale button. This right here is our scale button. So we're going to click on it and this is our dimensions. So the dimensions that we want are we want four and a half inches which is 4.5 by two and three quarters. So we'll hit tab 2.75 and apply. And that just makes our rectangle the right size. So we're going to go ahead and move it up. And then the next thing that we are want to do is we need to make a circle. So we're going to go ahead and grab this circle tool. And if you hold shift and drag it, you'll get a perfect circle. And I want that circle to be 1.6. So we'll check it with the scale really, really close. In fact, you could use that but I'm going to go ahead and change it. So because it's a full circle, I'll click on Lock Aspect Ratio, change this to 1.6, and apply. Perfect. Okay, so then we're going to drag this up here to our rectangle. And I'm going to put it there about halfway, whatever. And then we're going to copy and drag another one to the other side of our rectangle. So go ahead, Control, Alt, click and drag, and just place another one right there. Okay, so now we're going to highlight those, and we're going to use our Align tool, which is this one right here. Click the Align, and we're going to align first vertically to middle. So we're going to come down here to Align Vertically, and hit Middle. And what that does is it just lifts the circles or lowers the circles, whatever, so that they are um, centered right in the middle of that rectangle on the side. And then we're going to space horizontally. And that just spaces them out so that they're, e they're equal on each side. And then while it's all selected, we're going to go ahead and group it. And now if you'll remember from the last tutorial, you can group by using this key. You can group by um, right-clicking the drop-down menu and you have group or you can do control G but everything has to be highlighted control G control G is usually the one that I use but it doesn't matter they all do the same thing so go ahead and click off of that and we're going to draw another circle and this time we want the circle one and three quarters or 1.75 so we're going to hit shift click drag um, that's pretty close. If it's not perfect, you can come back up here to your scale tool. And 1.75, 1.75, apply. Now if things aren't working out just perfect, go ahead and stop the video, go back, try it again. You'll get the hang of it. It just takes a little bit of time. So the next thing that we're going to do is we actually want to duplicate this circle. So we're going to come up here to our replicate tool. This replicate tool is um, looks like a little flower. Go ahead and click on it, and we're going to duplicate right. Okay, and now we want these circles to overlap probably about a third of the way, so I'm just going to drag this one and put it, yeah, that looks good. You just kind of eyeball it, and then it, it will look good. And you can go ahead and select those and group them, Control-G. And now that you have one, you're going to want to have a second set, so we're going to hit control alt click and drag your second set. Alright, so now we're going to place the circles, one on top and one on the bottom. So we'll just drag this up here and place it up there. And I'm going to put it about two-thirds of the way in. The same with this. Drag it up there and put it about two-thirds of the way in. Okay, now we're going to select all of this and we're going to align it again. So select go to the align and this time we're going to align to center nope wrong 
a line horizontally so whoops and now I did left see everybody makes mistakes a line to center and what that does is it just moves those back there now you have to make sure that your circles are grouped because if you don't it'll kind of combine them and make them as one so there we go now the fun part begins so all we're going to do is while that whole thing is selected we're going to weld it together and if you remember there's three ways to weld you can do down here that's the weld button you can come up to modify and hit the weld button or you can do the drop down and weld um, that's just easiest and there you go there is that fun little label now to make it even funner we're going to add a middle rectangle so we're going to click off that grab another rectangle and just draw the rectangle highlight it we're going to come to our scale tool and this time we want it four and a quarter by two and a half so i'm going to do four point two five tab two point five and apply and what that does is that will give you a little rectangle to put inside your label and we'll do some fun stuff with this with the printing pad or something later now suppose you wanted to put that on a scrapbook page or a card and you wanted to put a brad in there so something that you can do that's really simple is you can make the brad holes and then you don't have to use a punch so we're going to get a circle and we're going to make just a teeny tiny hole so i'm going to hit my shift my click and just draw this little hole and um there whoops and then of course click off of it and then we're going to scale this and it is really tiny it's one it's 0 0.125 0 0.125 0.125 and that is just hit apply and that is just a tiny circle but it's perfect for putting those little tiny brads in if you were doing an eyelet you could do it a little bit bigger whatever you wanted so we're going to just drag that right up there and then I'm going to drag or copy and drag another one to the other side so control alt click and drag another one right there to make your eyelet holes now um we're going to select this whole thing we're going to go to the align button and we're going to align those to the middle perfect so now you have I will zoom in a fun little pad that you could use on a scrapbook page or on a card um, whatever you want to use so what you're going to want to do is we're going to save this because we're going to actually use it for the printing pack along with the other tag that we made or excuse me the other label that we made so there's two different ways to save it you can come up here and go to file and save as and that will actually put it in your file now this one i have for class this is the file that i use to keep all my um designs like scrapbook pages banners whatever and then you can title it and click OK or you can save it into your library so you'd come up to file again hit save to library I've already saved this so I'm not going to do it again but you could put in here um, label 2 or whatever you wanted new keyword you could put label class whatever and then artist of course put your name in there because that's yours and then click OK and then what will happen is when you open up your library you'll type in your tag or whatever you named it and it'll show up under your own design so there is a fun little label and a way to save so go ahead and play with that and then go ahead and make the first label and be prepared to bring those to class thanks bye bye